Good morning everyone. It is, I can't remember, Friday the 1st of October. It's Nikki here and I'm back with an update on what I got up to in September. Lots of stitching basically. Um, so, welcome to anybody that's new here. Welcome back for anyone paying a return visit. I've got some things to show you. Um, I had a few goals for this month and yes, yeah, smashed them. So it's been an odd month. I've got a lot of stitching done. I've had a week off holiday from work last week of the month, which always means extra stitching time. So let's jump in. I'm going to start with Spring Squirrel. This is by the Blue Flower Stitching. I started it earlier this year and I got him finished this month. I typically work on small pieces like this about half, half an hour, three quarters of an hour before I start work in the morning. So generally he gets worked on weekday mornings and I have a few projects that I switch between. It was four, then I finished Raccoon Rad Ball and that was in August. So this month it was, do I start one to replace Raccoon Rad Ball? Which was the point, I've got stuff kitted up, I've got things ready to go making a decision on which one I want to start. That's a difficult part. But I did my five days on spring school and I'd stitched these this side a while ago. It's not that big. And uh, I got his tail done in those five days and I got most of his head done, I think. It was just his hat and the border to finish off. So I thought... I'm not putting it away for another month. <laughs> there's any, there's not much work. And rather than do the new start, I put my foot into finishing spring school. So two more mornings and it was all done. So I have ordered a frame that can go up on the wall on, in my sewing room. He's lovely. Um, I did have trouble getting this thread, this this colour is acorn and it was during the time of the great floss shortage that we've just been living through. Um, had I known that it wasn't that variegated I would have just gone with the DMC but made the extra effort, got it, it's not variegated, not really, not like this one, stormy, stormy cloud something. It's nice. Uh, that's the colour on his overalls as well. I picked out the bluer ones for his overalls. The bluer strands. Uh, so, yes, that's done. I love stitching those acorns. Let's zoom in a bit. Those acorns are lovely. Gorgeous to stitch. So, I do have all the others in the series, but no plans to stitch them just yet. Um, I've got. I've got a couple of Plum Street sampler patterns kitted up um, so I may or may not be starting well yeah I'll probably start one of those uh, next month uh, I could in theory have two starts but I think I want to put in some extra work on Jane Cowie next week, next month so she might get two weeks so anyway that's the first finish and the second finish yay <laughs> Oops, hurts. Oh, I have to move back. A bit close. There we go. Faces of Fairy number 185. Jasmine Beckett Griffith is the artist and it's charted by Heaven and Earth Designs. I stitched this using two strands over 18 count Easy Count Ada. The lines came up wonderfully well. And it's a lovely soft fabric when you've washed it. Of course, that means you lose the line, so you're not really gaining anything. 
but it was, it's actually a really nice soft fade once it's washed and all the sizings washed out of it. So, uh, yay, I got her finished. So, I thought I'll get some numbers and I'll get them handy, but I didn't get them any more handy than I did last month. Here we go, I saw, I saw. So, I worked on her from the start of this month. So she would have had the three weeks, but only needed 18 days to get her finished. Uh, 9,001 stitches to complete her. Uh, so the trickiest bits, as always with these, the eyes are full of colours, loads of confetti. The, the dragon had a little bit, he wasn't too bad. That tattoo, right at the end. Oh, <laughs> that was where all the colour changes were. Bam. It's worth it. So there are some sparkly threads. It calls for the Krynik 032. You can't really see. I've got as much light going as I can today. But there's sparkly thread all throughout this. I use the PB10 Petite Treasure Braid. Uh, I just find it easier to stitch with. Might be a psychological thing, but I prefer that one. Right, sorry about that small interruption. Um, so where was I? Uh, yeah, so I use Petite Treasure Braid, and so I got all the numbers together. I started this on the 31st of December 2019, New Yearish New Start. Um, so just one day in 2019. In 2020 I worked on her 30 times and in 2021 51 times. So in all 82 times worked on her. And when I say that it's like the days or the evenings that I've worked on her. When I first started her she was just worked on Friday evenings and I didn't get much done at all. But I think my average number of stitches was 400 and 89 or something like that so she didn't take long there are quite a few blocks of colour there's a lot of black in there um, but it, it stitches up fairly quickly so yay finish I have ordered a frame finally ordered a frame for just be as well so we have some frames coming at some point. I will get them in frames and show them off again. So, faces of fairy. So, uh, space opened up on the rotation now, and that will be for Death Head Moth because that's the next one I think I can get. Well, I know I can get finished. So, that will be getting the 21 days. Not next month, month after. No, not this month, month after. November. So, um, this is Bizarre Bookshelf, it's a massive kit from Gecko Rouge and it's going to be huge when it's finished. It's a piece of fabric, it's about 42 inches wide, it's, it's a biggie, but I think it's smaller than some of the Heaven and Earth designs that I've done. Um, pages on Gecko Rouge kits are much smaller, which is good if you like to get through your page finishes. Uh, so, where was I? Um, last month I had a bit of the shelf to finish off, so I did that, so the page three is in there somewhere, and part of this is part of page four. So I did kind of start going across onto page four but um, I kind of continued with my other plan. The shells are all the same width but they're not necessarily the same height so I thought I'd get to there. Now I'm thinking I want to finish off page four and just work it because I've got it on a 17 by 11 Q snap now. Um, I might put it back on the 17 by 8 to come back at some point and finish off page 4 and then I'll work it the 4 pages 
across. So I have finished off the first shelf, which is the art shelf. You can't make out the words of the books. And what they do though, they do um, some of the book cake, some of the individual bookshelves, and I know they've got the art one. They've got those as single kits, but they're bigger, so you can read. I think you can read the words on those ones. But I like I like the whole thing. So the first one is art one. The second one I believe is birds. I think that's a bird egg there. Uh, so I've just made a start on this one. Um, typically this is my one hour at lunch time. <laughs> um, except when I'm back in the office. We've been back into the office uh, a couple of days now. The first one back I didn't take any sewing with me. And we went out for a walk around, the t walk around town at lunchtime but it's starting to get to the chillier, wetter weather now. So I'll probably stay in the canteen at work. So the second time I took my stitching in with me and made that absolute beginner's mistake of not taking any needles in. The worst thing was the bag that I had my laptop in for work had the night before had a tin of needles in it. But I took it out because I'm not going to be using those, am I? So, next time that I'm in the office, I will be better prepared. But that second time that I went in, I actually took one of my small pieces in and stitched on this before work. So, it's a bit more difficult to concentrate on something as full coverage as this, that early in the morning, but it's doable. So, I'm going to see how long I can do that for. It means getting up a little bit earlier to get a bit more time in, but it's worth it, isn't it? And so, all together, um, also I stitch on this in the mornings when I have time off work. And so, normally, rather than recording this, I would be stitching on my bookshelf page, I don't know, I can't remember how many pages wide it is, but my sixth full page that I'm doing, no, six, fourth full page that I'm doing is going to end, <coughs> is ending about here somewhere, so I'm going to work on that once I've done this, and oh let's see 21 days I spent on it this month and that was for a total of 4,303 stitches so very good progress but, uh, it is really enjoyable to work on sometimes when you get a piece that's really big it can be monotonous to work on almost um, especially if you've got something with a lot of background so you don't feel like you're getting anywhere fast with this, because of all the books in the background, um, there's there's always something to do, always something to see. So really enjoyable, really enjoying working on this, which is why I've worked on it so much so far this year. I think about seventy times already since I started it. So yeah, enjoying it. So next up is Nightmare, uh, another Gecko Rouge kit. The artist for this one is Medusa Dollmaker. You might remember that I've done Gamer by her. I really like her art so I've got quite a few kits of hers. And this one I started during the house renovations that would be about 2018 and I just did the one page. Um, because isn't it was like <laughs> this background it was really simple to work on when I was shifting around the house, <laughs> and then I decided that I was going to work on it Saturday and Sunday mornings. So when I wake up, this kick starts me into the day. So uh, in September, I worked on this. For eight eight mornings and did three thousand nine hundred and thirty six stitches, most of it this background. 
Um, so there's pages four and five here. So I got those, got those finished off. I was working them together just to keep that background going. Um, so we've got Barrel finished there. It's characters from Nightmare Before Christmas. Zero the dog. So I've actually come down to start. I'm just made to start on page six. So working more on zero. I think there's a pumpkin down here. To as well. So yay. That's that's most of that. So um I think this one's about twenty percent complete now, it's not huge. So it's it's really enjoy this this is probably my favourite whip at the moment. Um all my Full coverage pieces. I've been doing the history sprints month in full coverage fanatics. I'm just working out a way to keep a better track of the challenges for next year. I think I've got oh, I've got that settled now. I've even got a planner ready for it for next year, and uh, so just practicing with what's left. So there were 17 history sprints in total, I completed 12. It's, it's different amounts of stitching depending on the year that that event took place. So um, if I'd probably worked out things better I might have got more <laughs> done. I just went for dates that I thought <laughs> I'm not going to get a lot done on this project. <laughs> <laughs> so I went for like smaller dates, um, but I think if I'd worked it out better, I might have been able to squeeze another one in. But <laughs> it's just for fun. So um, I'm just going to pause briefly and get a stitch in time balanced on something. It's always the worst one to do, uh, and then we'll go through that. So be back in a minute, and we're back. It is. It decided it wanted to pick a fight with me today for some reason. Uh, so, a stitch in time. Uh, I nearly put it in time out again this month. Um, wasn't having a great deal of joy with it. Mostly this flowers. These pink flowers. I hate them. <laughs> and it's like, oh, one stitch of that colour. And, oh, there's no other stitch of that colour nearby so I might as well finish it off. Um, so there was much muttering with this project and what I decided to do is to be a bit more methodical with the stitching on this one and go back to working in feathered columns. So I had stitches to do over here page 8, um, page 8 went up to ooh, about there, so I finished page 8 and that made me feel better, having a page finish cheered me up, so uh, she doesn't look so odd now, she is a bit, she is a bit luminous, <laughs> it's the lighting, um, you got a Got a lover stitcher that's paying no attention to those balloons outside the window. She's stitching away. Uh, so page eight got finished, and then I worked across some more, and page nine finishes about here somewhere. So, yay! Nearly finished this first row of pages, but because of all the other bits I've done, I am. 35% complete on this piece, nearly 36. Oh, it may have been 36. Nearly there. <clears throat> so, um, I, at the start of the year, I had a plan to kind of, to finish this first row of pages. And to be honest, I didn't think I was going to get it done. Because... Uh, I took breaks for working on Just Be and I had a bigger rotation. I was stitching more pieces, so I cut back the rotation after I finished Just Be. 
And that's actually been going really well. As you've seen, I finished Faces of Fairy. Um, so, I, I don't know whether I'm going to continue with it exactly as it is. I'm going to do the 21 days and then the rest of the month on another project. At the moment that other project is this one because I want to get this row of pages finished and to be honest I think that's a possibility for October is to get this row of pages finished. It's just whether um, I want to keep up the pace and keep working on this one every month. I'm not sure I could, I could put it into the three week slot. I think three weeks on just on this would be a bit too much. Definitely at the moment with all the pink. <laughs> the pink I'm having the least, least fun with. <laughs> I'm nearly there. Um, the page, the shelf divides there. So, yeah, as you can see, I've still got more pink to do. Um, but I do want to work on a little light reading as well. So I might stick with it every month for the rest of this year, and then next year decide whether I want to switch the second project every other month as well as the first project. Uh, part of me doesn't want to because if I can keep up a good pace on this it will get done eventually. Plus um, next year I'm hoping to finish Death Head Moth and Unicorn. So two Gecko Rouge kits that I've got started. I haven't worked on Unicorn for a bit. But I am 26% through that one. So Death Head Moth is 76%. So that's that's not going to take a lot of time to get finished, I don't think. Uh, i also be stitching on that in November. So I don't think there'll be much to do on that next year to get that finished. And then switch over to Unicorn. And then once Unicorn's finished, I could do a little light reading then, in the three weeks. But it's whether I want to wait that long to get back to that, because I really do love that project. I love stitching those dragons. If this one continues to annoy me, yeah, I'll probably switch. <laughs> um, what I don't want to do is to get to the point where this one goes into timeout again. I don't want to give up on it. And every time I have tried to give up on it, it keeps calling me. So I don't think giving up is an option. I'll get there eventually. I don't want it to take forever. But I think even working on it every month for those nine or ten days, I think it's still going to take about four years to get done. Um, and that's that's as long as I don't start other things. <laughs> and I'm always good at justifying new starts. I've got I've got justification in my head for a new start at the moment. <laughs> I need I need to get some things finished more things finished. I've done well, I finished two Heaven and Earth designs this year. Um I started beside the bookshelf. <laughs> Uh, but that's got a very specific time it's worked on. Um, so the, the number of whips are going down. But I want to, I want to get this done. And if I can't get this done, how can I start the other shelves? And there are other shelves that I want to do. I'm not going to be able to start them straight after this. <laughs> There's something about this one. Uh, so, um, uh, this, well, today, I'll be getting Trick or Treat out. I had started by, I had switched to work in that across 
the entire piece and coming down 10 row blocks at a time. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep that up or if I'm going to switch back to working in pages. I guess I'll see how I feel once I get it out and onto the stand tonight. Uh, yeah, bit of stitching on Bizarre Bookshelf now. So, so the rotation, the plans for October is basically trick or treat for 21 days, then stitch in time for the rest of the month, Bizarre Bookshelf, lunch times, nightmare at the weekends, and then the, the various smalls that I've got on the go. And maybe start a new one. Yeah, I'll start one. Uh, I need to get some more stuff out and start working out next ones to kit up as well. I think I've got a few to start. Don't need to rush that. I do need to get some finishing done. I need to make up some small pillow things. Uh, yeah, but that's it for me. That's it for this month. I hope you all had a good stitching September and those of you who that did sampler September really enjoyed it the only sampler I worked on was Jane Carrie. I haven't done a lot on it so I'll show that once once I get it finished um yeah hope your plans for October are, are getting there and that those of you that will be doing dark October stitching enjoy yourself kind of taking part by stitching trick or treat but that is basically because I like to stitch on that in October because it's trick or treating but I won't be stitching on it at Halloween I'll be stitching on this one this one's my nightmare so <coughs> I've got a fog in my throat now anyway I will see you through the months with stitch with me and then I will be back at the end of the month for another update. So stay safe, keep well, enjoy stitching, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.